This is part 63 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to implement abstract classes concept in JavaScript. Object-oriented programming languages like c -sharp and Java support abstract classes. Abstract classes are incomplete, so trying to create an instance of an abstract class will raise a compiler error. Abstract classes can only be used as base classes. First, let's look at an example in c -sharp, and then we'll see how to implement the same thing in JavaScript. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So let's get to the code behind file of this web form one. Now here, let's create an abstract class, public abstract class, and let's name this shape. And within this abstract class, let's include a public field, and let's name this shape name, and initialize that to none. And let's also include a public method which is going to return a string and let's name this method draw. So basically this method is going to return drawing and now we are going to concatenate whatever is the shape name to this string drawing. Okay, so at the moment we have an abstract class. Now let's create another class public class and let's name this circle and we're going to make this circle class inherit from this abstract class shape and usually within the circle class we will have code specific um, you know to circle now since shape is an abstract class if we try to create an instance of shape we will get a compiler error straight away saying that we cannot create an instance of an abstract class. Notice that when I hover that, um, you know, over that red squiggly, it says we cannot create an instance of an abstract class. Now, let's go ahead and create an instance of circle class. Circle class is not an abstract class, so we should be able to create an instance of that class. So circle, C equals new circle. Now, since circle class inherit from this abstract shape class, all the public members of the abstract class will be available to circle class. That is, this public field shape name and this public method draw, both of them will be available within this circle object. So now I should be able to say C dot shape name and initialize that with whatever string I prefer. So let's initialize that with circle and then let's invoke the draw method. Now, since we initialized the shape name field with circle, so it's going to say drawing circle when we call this draw method. And let's write that to the web page. So response.write. And let's run this page. So it should print the message saying drawing circle. Now, C is circle. Now, since C is an object of type circle, this should return true. So let's run this. So notice that it says true. Now, C is shape. Now, circle class inherits from shape. So C is also a shape. So the second, you know, response dot write should also return true. So let's go ahead and run this one more time. Notice that we get C is circle true, C is shape true. Now let's see how to implement the same thing within JavaScript. So let's get to this HTML page one dot HTM. So first let's create a function. Let's name this shape. And we are going to have one public field, shape name. And let's initialize that to none. And we are also going to throw an error because we don't want to allow anyone creating an instance of this shape. So throw new error cannot create an instance of an abstract class. So basically here we are mimicking abstract classes within JavaScript. Now, let's associate a function 
with this shape object. So shape dot prototype dot draw is going to be the name of the function. Now this function is going to return this string drawing this dot shape name. So at the moment shape is an abstract object. So if someone tries to create an instance of shape, so var shape equals new shape. Look at this, when we run this we get an error. Look at that, it says cannot create an instance of an abstract class right because we are throwing that error when someone tries to use this constructor function and create an instance of shape. Now let's go ahead and create another function and to this function let's pass a parameter shape name and this dot shape name equals shape name. So we are initializing that with the parameter. Now let's associate this shape as the base type for circle using the prototype property. So circle dot prototype equals I'm going to use object dot create method and then shape dot prototype. So basically this object.create method allows us to create an object without using the function constructor. Okay, so we are saying here using this line that shape is going to be the base type for circle. Now since circle inherits from shape, it's going to have both these properties, shape name and draw method. Now let's go ahead and create an instance of the circle object. var circle equals new circle and let's specify the shape name as circle and since circle object inherits from shape object it should be able to call the draw method. So circle dot draw and let's write this to the web page document dot write circle dot draw Let's go ahead and run this. Notice that it says drawing circle. You know the spelling is incorrect there. So drawing circle. All right. Now let's alert this message. Alert circle instance of circle. This should return true because circle is an object of type circle now circle instance of shape this should also return true because circle base type is shape so let's look at that so let's see if these changes reload the page notice that we get true so circle is instance of circle that returns true once I click OK we get true again so circle is instance of shape and we have drawing circle so this is how we implement polymorphism in JavaScript. This is the same example that we just discussed. Thank you for listening and have a great day.